Welcome to this short tutorial from Kinetic Media, where you can find more tutorials like this at kinetic-media.com. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to use the Review Interactive Widget in iBooks Author. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and pull up iBooks Author. Let me minimize or hide our browser here and just pull up iBooks Author. Now I'm going to you can either start from an existing project or you can go ahead and just create a start in a, a sample project. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to a page where I have some empty uh, area that I can insert this widget. So with the page selected, let's go ahead and select where it says widget here and come down to review. Now review, the review widget allows me to add different questions at the end of a chapter, at the end of a section or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is just position this review where I want. You'll notice this review is actually a lot bigger than what other widgets are as well. So you notice if I go ahead and add in here, for example, uh, an HTML widget. The HTML widget is actually fairly small, um, but the widget on for the review takes up half of the screen. So that allows the user to actually select on the different answers and also to uh, to be able to flick through the different uh, questions as well. Now you can still resize this if you want, but I recommend at least taking up half the screen. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go over how you actually fill out the different questions for this review widget. With the review widget selected, the first thing I want to do is come over to the inspector. If you don't see your inspector, go ahead and select on the blue icon on the top of the bar. Now with your inspector open, make sure you navigate to the last tab. On the last tab, make sure that the interaction tab is actually selected. Now you have the option to go into full screen and that will allow the user or force the user to go into the full screen before they can actually answer one of the questions. Well in this case I don't want to do that. I want them to be able to actually answer the questions while they see the text and while that's visible. Now iBooks Author starts us out with one sample question and um, you can see if I come down to the bottom here I can also add more questions like multiple choice, multiple choice with an image, multiple on the right or on the right or left hand side, multiple choice with an image on the top, multiple choice where the images are actually the choices, and then drag label to target and drag thumbnail to target as well. So we're going to go over each of these. The first thing that starts me out with is the multiple choice question. Now I have up on top some uh, text that I can change where it says the lorem ipsum text up here, but I also that's just more of the that's more of the description of the review. Now to actually change the question in the review, I just select the actual lorem ipsum text here and then I can go ahead and type in my own question here. So let's say Just as a sample question, what is what color is the sky? Now I can go ahead and change the answer just by selecting the text. And now to select which answer is correct, all I have to do is select on the radio button and that will actually make it so that is the correct answer. When I preview this on my iPad, no answer will actually be selected. So the user will actually have to tap on what the answer is and then they'll have to come down here to where it says check answer. Now if I don't want four options or if I want more than four options, then I come back over to my inspector. Where it says number of questions, I select the drop down box and then I select how many questions or distractors I want there to be. I have the option from two, three, four, five, and six. In this case, let's go ahead and add one more. And so you see over here, it adds another bullet here. And I can add that other option as well. Now to add more questions, I'm going to click on the plus icon and I'm going to go ahead and choose another type of question. Let's choose the multiple choice with the image on the right hand side. To add an image here, all I have to do is drag an image from my desktop and then drop it inside of the image area. So here let's say
not the best speller, but we'll go ahead and just add that here. And it automatically numbers the questions. So we can see that we're on question two of two. So let's just go ahead and type in the different answers. And you get the, uh, just by selecting, you can add the different species here. And then select which one of these answers is correct. So that's how you do the multiple choice. Now I'm not gonna do the multiple choice if you hit the minus icon, it will actually uh, take that question away. But I'm not going to do the multiple choice with the uh, image up on the top. But let's go ahead and do the multiple choice with the images actually being the choices. So now with the images actually being the choices, um, I can go ahead and switch the question. And then drag and drop the images right into this section as well. If I want to edit the mask, you'll notice that the uh, head is actually cut off here. If I want to edit the mask, all I have to do is double click on the image and then I can either just move that image into position or I can make that image larger by selecting the scale. So double clicking on the image will first of all select the image and I can either click edit mask or I can double click on the image itself again and then move the image inside the visible area. Then also with this I select the radio button that I is the correct answer and then I can choose if I want to there only to be two images that gives me a little bit more room automatically resizes the image for me gives me a little bit more room to work with and then I can go ahead and add another question so I'm going to select the drop down box and now the learner can actually tap on anywhere in the image to select the answer now let's go ahead and tap on the drop box where it says drag label to target and this allows me to drag in an image. So let's go ahead and drag in this horse image. Edit the mask here. Bring the horse down a little bit. And let's go ahead and move these labels over. You move the labels by selecting the dot and moving it over where you want that to be. So I'm going to go ahead and select where it says label 2. And let's hover that over the tail and then change that to tell and then come over to this and drag it over the head and let's change that to head. Now you'll notice this is where the head and the tell is and all I will have to do is actually take these and drag and drop them onto the dots to match this and then hit check answer. I can also come over to the inspector and if I wanted to add more dots I can go ahead and add more dots or take dots away if I have too many as well. So again the learner will actually take these drag and drop them onto the dot that they think is correct. Let's uh, go ahead and, and add another one. I'm going to click the drag thumbnail to target and now uh, let's go ahead and drag another image here. Double click on it to edit the mask I'm going to go ahead and double click on it one more time so I can bring it down, drag it down a little bit. And now I can also, you'll notice that these image icons also allow me to uh, select an image and drag it inside of there. So I can go ahead and uh, move these dots as well. I'm still in the edit uh, mask mode so if I want to get out of that I can go ahead and uh, select anywhere out and then it will allow me to get out of it and now it will allow me to grab the dot a little bit easier as well. So the images are showing this is what it's going to be or what's going to be correct. The images are showing here but when the learner actually sees it for the first time they're going to only see the dots and they're going to see the images down here. So they'll have to take the image, drag it to the dot and then if it's a match this will pop up. And again I can also add more distractors and more uh, possible choices over on the right hand side. So that's how you go through and you fill out the uh, different possibilities, the different questions. From what I've been able to tell you can have as many questions as you want and will automatically number the questions. You can simply just highlight the text and replace it, um, change out the text for the labels, change out the images by dragging and dropping in those images and this way you can create an interactive review inside of iBooks with the simple drag and drops and replacing of text.